traditionally, if we looked at the other frameworks of scope and review. So if we looked at Art, Fiona O'Malley and Lavac and Colhane, those are two premier um, uh, methodological approaches um, that are towards scope and reviews. They talk about the need for us to consult with what they would call stakeholders. Um, we also took approach of that at JBI, that we needed to consult throughout every stage of the scope and review methodology. However, we had no practical guidance, no ability to actually know as a researcher, what do we mean by that? How do I actually a, involve a knowledge user in my work? How do I then make sure that they're valued? And then also myself, how do I reflect on the process of engagement with knowledge users to make sure that I am learning as well as a researcher? So for me, I find that knowledge users is this bi-directional relationship um, where we're kind of learning together. Um, and so we didn't really have that applied to scoping reviews and the, the framework that we have at JVI. And so for me, I wanted to ensure that we had that practical how-to guidance. So I think this is, should be seen as a starting point. Um, because we've talked about the issues out there, we've identified issues. So we talked about the need for including knowledge users within scope and reviews. We tried to provide some practical examples and some how-tos. But for me, this is really preliminary work because we still have a lot more answers that we need to talk, you know, find. We need to think about the structural issues as well about including knowledge users into scope and reviews or actually any form of evidence synthesis. How can we make sure that we can facilitate knowledge users and evidence synthesis um, as a natural process? We need to talk about how we can reduce the, the issues of resources, um, and again, that highlights to structural issues. But then we've got some things like reporting. How do we report knowledge user engagement in our, in our scoping reviews? Um, and then how do we evaluate it as well? So there are still quite a few questions that need to be answered um, and I'm hoping that this will be the starting point especially for JVI to be able to uh, look at those questions and move to a, a future understanding of knowledge user engagement in, in all evidence synthesis types not just scope and reviews.